not only do poetry, but they do have the ability of fostering great ideas. extended far beyond the borders of his homeland. His poetic genius resonated with the people of diverse backgrounds and cultures. आप इन दोनों में थोड़ा सा एक सहरे कलाम में भी उनकी फिक्र झलकती है, लेकिन उनकी नसर भी बहुत ज़्यादा है, जहाँ पर उनकी फिक्र को, उनकी उनके ख्याल को आप एक बेहतर तौर पर समझ सकते हैं। तो मैं कहता हूँ कि जाने जा, बेरोकरी से बात ना कर, देख तो हम कहाँ से हैं? शिकागो से आया हूँ कि पूरा साथ में तो भी शरीक किया। मुझे आपने बड़ा था कि इसके जिस ने सब कर दिया इसका तमाम साथ में जब मैं बालू कराया है कि जो नक्श थे पाबाल बनाए मैंने फिर मुझे हुए बाल बनाए मैंने और तकलीफ के कर की जो खेती तस्वीर दिखा दिया दरअसल बिगम दिखा रही है तस्वीर He dreamed Pakistan and uh, we are the manifestation of his dream. So he cherished that dream. And uh, he is, up to this day, our ideological compass and uh, our lodestar when we are looking for direction where we ought to go. We refer to him not because he gave us the ideological basis for the state of Pakistan. Secondly, he was a poet par excellence. Uh, as uh, many speakers highlighted this, this the, uh, during the session, that in the past century there was only one poet in the Urdu language or in the Persian language, and that was the name of Muhammad Iqbal. And as somebody said, Anwar Iqbal, sir, I have given you the name. Yes, sir. Two times. Now two times. Now two times. He is a genius. So. Uh, your mastery of Persian poetry of Iqbal uh, uh, is ending. And so he was such a great poet that uh, his thought has influenced uh, two dominions in the subcontinent, but also Persia or uh, Iran as it is. And I'm told anecdotally that uh, Iqbal is cited in uh, Friday in Iran, um, and even the leadership remembers his Persian poetry in my heart.